Hi Pisces, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana and this is your May monthly reading. As usual, this is just a general reading. It's the general overtone of some things that are going on with some of you, not all of you of course, but some of you. Don't ever trust your life to a general reading, not mine or anybody else's. If it resonates with you, that's awesome. If you have further questions or you need further clarification, um, reach out for a personal reading to me or whoever your favorite tarot card reader is, right? Reach out for a personal reading. Don't ever make your plans for your life off of a general reading because they have a tendency to, um, to well, not a tendency. <laughs> they, they are not your reading, right? They're not your reading. Your cards would be very different than what these cards are because your reader will be able to pull on your energy and create a reading specifically just for you. This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces, my fellow Pisces. I'm Pisces rising, Pisces moon, and Pisces Venus, Taurus, Taurus sun sign. So anyway, this is a general reading for you, my friends. So let's get into it. Oh, hey, if you want a reading from me, you can go to deepthoughtswithdana.com and there is a link specifically for YouTube subscribers so you can get the $50 reading in the box below. All right. So Pisces, you open this reading with the Ace of Cups. This is just like overwhelming emotion, but I get the feeling that, th that this is good emotion, right? It's not like being overwhelmed. It's, it's, it's just knowing that you know that you know, having some self-love and making decisions with the Prince of Swords that follows it for your highest and best good. Now, I was wondering what this Ace of Cups is about right here, right? So why? Why do we open this reading with overwhelming emotion about a decision, about some action that you're taking? Well, this is what the card said. You are taking some action because there has been conflict in your home. And you're rolling on out, making a regretful but necessary transition, though be it not without some anxiety and some confusion, right? But you've also dug deep into your subconscious mind. And as witnessed by this Ace of Cups, you know that you know that you know that this is right for you. You have sat down with your intuition. You have sought out some, some introspection, some inner guidance, and done some soul searching about this whole thing. And you've come to the conclusion that to manifest new opportunities and new prosperity in your life, it is necessary for you to leave something out in the cold in your life to leave something out in the cold in your life. Now, as we go through this reading, we are going to see that um, I do believe that this is a relationship, very important relationship that you're leaving out in the cold. The King of Cups comes in and says that, that you are taking action because this conflict in your home life is volatile right? It's volatile and there is, um, there is no other choice but to move on for your own personal sanity, maybe your own personal safety. And I don't mean like a, like a, like a scary kind of situation. I mean your own personal core safety, your emotional safety, right? The King of Cups is all about emotional balance and control. And he's the king of love, right? So what this card tells me is that you are moving on out, leaving something or someone out in the cold for your own emotional protection. And after sitting down with um, the hermit, being in the hermit mode and figuring all of this out, you have come to the conclusion that this is the very best thing for you. And you are making this decision out of a state of emotional balance and control, feeling emotionally secure, calm, cool, collected, and knowing that you know that you know. Reiterating this hermit card over here is the hangman, right? So you come from hermit, which is a progression, right? You come from the hermit mode, doing soul searching, introspection, seeking some inner guidance. 
to the hanged man, which is pausing, surrendering, letting go, and having some new perspectives. The Nine of Wands tells me that while you were in the hangman mode making this decision, the hangman mode is the decision-making process, right? While you were in this hangman mode, you gained a sense of courage because you were hesitant in the past until you came to terms with the way things are and with the direction that you want your life to go. While you're in hangman mode, you, you, you get some courage, right? You get just that, that steel rod down your spine that says, you know what? This is what I have to do. This is what I have to do for my own sanity, for my own life, for my own decisions. This is what I have to do. And you leave somebody out in the cold with the five of pentacles. This creates the wheel turning in your life. This wheel of fortune, it's about good luck, karma, one life cycle ending and a new life cycle beginning for you. Now the wheel shows up in your reading. It's lesson number 10, right? In the major arcana. 10 is the number of completion. It's the end of a cycle and renewal, right? It's a transformation of your life. This card shows up in your reading when you're on the right track. Because when we're on the right track, the doors open and the doors open and the doors open and the doors open. And it's when we get stuck in that place where it's either a distraction to our goals and our ambitions, or it's a stumbling block with a lesson that we need to learn in order to progress to the new level, in order to level up in the spiritual journey, right? The emotional journey. So this wheel says to me that you have learned something about yourself, very important lesson about yourself right here. So this wheel starts to turn for you. This wheel starts to turn for you, Pisces, because you've made the decision to leave something that is not in your best interest out in the cold. This wheel starts turning for you and it's turning towards something very, very significant in your life with the Hierophant. This is about personal beliefs, right? It rules everything that's rooted in the word commission. Uh, commission. <laughs> Taurus, right? I got pentacles on the mind. It's rooted in the word commitment, right? So this wheel begins to turn for you and it brings something very, very significant into your life. The temperance card comes in and says that it's bringing this, 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 this very significant thing in your life that this wheel is going to open the door for you to walk into is not only bringing balance to your life, but it's also bringing purpose to your life. Ace of Wands comes in, reiterates this wheel, and says whatever this significant thing with the Hierophant card is that's going to bring balance and purpose into your life, this is an inspired, powerful, creative new beginning for you, Pisces. So powerful that it is, it is bringing you into the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is, is the foundation by which we build our future. It's about family and establishment and wealth. And that's what you're after. A family, establishment, and wealth. The golden opportunity, the foundation by which to build your future. The Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands comes in and says that um, two things to me, that, that making this decision to leave someone or something out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles was a struggle for you, a struggle. But you see accomplishment at the end of this struggle, right? This guy can't cash in on those 10 golden wands until he does the last leg of this journey, which is up this narrow winding steep staircase, right? When he gets to that castle up there, that's when he can cash in those wands that he has obviously been carrying this load for a while, right? Because he's in the middle of nowhere. I mean, he comes out of nowhere, right? So this card tells me that this decision to move on is um, a struggle for you. Not only a struggle, but painful with the three of swords, right? This card also tells me that this, this wheel that's turning for you, 
this very significant thing that's coming into your life that's going to bring you balance and purpose, this inspired, powerful, creative new beginning in your life that, that is going to lead you into the energy of the Ten of Pentacles, this completion of a life cycle for you, um, is not going to come easy. There is some kind of, of work that you need to do in order to bring this to fruition. Three of Swords, in that respect, tells me that you are releasing pain and you're having optimism for your future. You're releasing this burden, the burden of the decision to leave somebody out in the cold, the action to leave somebody out in the cold. You're releasing that and you're having optimism in your life, right? The Three of Wands comes in and says that you are now beginning to prepare for your future. What is your future? Interesting that this significant thing in your life right there is, is directly underneath this Hierophant, right? The King of Pentacles, that is what you are beginning to prepare to bring into your life. Security, control, power, and abundance is on the horizon for you. Now let's go back. I wanted clarification on this Ten of Wands to the Three of Swords, right? This burden, this struggle, this heartbreak, this pain. Again, just like back here, the Six of Cups. Where is it? Right back there, that Six of Cups. This burden and this heartache and this pain is about something in your home, in your family. Could be anything Pisces, put it where it goes. It could be anything, but it is centered around home and family. The struggle is for you to manifest a sense of self-sufficiency. This is an independent, self-sufficient, single card right here. In order for you to plan for your future, to make progress, to make the decisions that you need to make in order to plan for your future. And it's topped off by justice. So this Ten of Wands, this burden and this struggle and this painful separation or heartbreak or grief that is associated with leaving somebody out in the cold in pursuit of your best interests is justice in this situation. This is your justice. This is you speaking truth to yourself about how you want your life to be. Now preparing to bring in the energy of the King of Wands, security, control, power, discipline, abundance, right? Now we go back to the, to the backstory a little bit. Seven of Pentacles says that you have invested a lot into whatever it is that you walked away from up here. You've invested a lot, but you're not seeing the profit or the reward for the investment that you've made. And you're quite disappointed in the time that you've spent being in this situation and you're, you're disappointed. What are you disappointed about? Well, very important relationship in your life. Very important relationship that you have invested a lot of time and effort into, into procuring. To the lover's card. I mean, that says love relationship. Not only that, but with the six of cups twice, tells me that this is kind of a soulmate kind of thing, right? And you know, soulmates are brought to us to remind us of our journey. The soulmates, okay, if we want to get all technical, right? Soulmates are people that we have a soul contract with from other lifetimes. That contract is to manifest in each other's lives through the course of reincarnation, 
right? Through the course of reincarnation. I mean, how else do you manifest in somebody's life over and over and over again? The, the, through reincarnation, the soul contract is to manifest in one another's lives in order to keep us on the path that we need to be on in order to fulfill the destiny or the mission that we came to this planet to fulfill, okay? So this, this soulmate relationship that you have right here, has done its job. You know, and soulmates aren't, they don't have to be forever, right? And they don't have to be a love relationship either. But this soulmate has done their job for you. They have, they have, through whatever happened in the relationship, it could be, it could be good, it could be bad. Sometimes we leave people out in the cold. It doesn't even have to be a mad kind of thing. We're just like, look, bro, this is what's going on with me, and it's time for me to move on from this situation, right? So it doesn't have to be a volatile, bad, horrible thing. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be a love relationship. But whatever this relationship is for you, it is significant in your life. And it has taught you the lessons that you needed to be reminded of in order for you to continue on down the road of destiny. In order for you to continue on to, to do what you came here to do. Okay? So, this disappointment in this very, very significant soulmate relationship in your life to the three of pentacles, what it was you thought you were going to build on has changed for you. It's changed for you. You've had a movement in your soul, Pisces. You've had a movement, a shift of, of direction because you learned what you needed to learn, whether you realize it or not, You've learned what you needed to learn, and now it's time to move on. So this soulmate situation has done its job, and now it's time to carry on. Doesn't mean you can't still be friends. Doesn't mean you can't still be family. It just means that your time with this person or this situation is over. As witnessed by the Ace of Swords, absolute mental clarity and breakthroughs to the world card that you are going to move it on down the road and continue on your life's journey in pursuit of whatever it is that is burning in your chest. Because whatever burns in your chest, that is spirit leading you to explore different things in your life. Death card comes in. This is beautiful, beautiful card. Death card comes in and says there's an absolute ending to this relationship right here. An ending. Now, not necessarily an ending out, done, just because you're walking away and leaving somebody out in the cold. It doesn't necessarily mean that, but it does mean that this relationship, the way it served your life in the past, has completed its mission, right? It's completed its mission, and now it's time to transform and transition into what it is that you're being called to do. Judgment comes in and says that all of this, all of it, is about a judgment call that you made. It's about, the judgment card's actually about judgment. It's about rebirth, following your inner calling. And that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. Because we don't always recognize, particularly if you're not in tune with your psychic abilities. And a lot of people aren't. And there's no, there's no hate in that. There's no shame in that at all. That's why people like me are here. To confirm your own intuition. Right? To give you understanding of your own emotions and your own thought processes and to give you some clarity about what you already know, but you can't quite sew together. That, my friends, is the key to a personal reading. So anyway, you are following a calling. You are having, you are having a rebirth 
which is right in line with this soulmate relationship, pushing you into leveling up on your spiritual journey. Made a big decision. Two of Swords comes in and says that it wasn't easy. It was not easy to make this decision. But you know that the time has come for you to step out into a new beginning and a new journey in your life. This time is over. It's over. It's time to move on. You have the wheel turning point in your destiny and the world, a completion of a life cycle, integration of everything that you've learned and accomplishment to write a new chapter, new beginning and a new journey in your life a transformation, a transition, a change that is orchestrated by source in your life and you're listening. That's the important thing, Pisces, is that you hear it. You hear it and you're listening. Not only do you hear it, but you feel it and you know that it's time to move on. Princess of Swords, that's you putting everything into action. That's you putting everything into action. This card is about being curious, mentally restless, energetic, right? And, and that's you. That's you feeling that energy bubbling up inside of you and, and making a plan to execute your exit. Chariot comes in, rolling on out. You have the control, the willpower, the determination to take the action that is necessary to achieve success in your life. And you know it. Princess of Pentacles. With the chariot, you're rolling on out and you're rolling towards the manifestation of new things in your life. Your next adventure, your next chapter, the next chapter of your journey. You're, you're getting ready to write a whole new chapter in your life. This is beautiful. It's so beautiful, Pisces. That's awesome. And if this resonates with you, that means that you are cognizant. You're listening, right? You're listening to the lead, to the first chord of the song that the universe is writing for you with this new chapter in your life. It's a beautiful reading. Beautiful reading, Pisces. Beautiful reading. Oh, look. I was going to ask for some outcome cards, and this just flew on the card. The Ace of Cups, a brand new, overwhelmingly, emotional, creative new beginning in your life. So Tarot, can you please give us some, uh, some more outcome cards for Pisces? What's the outcome here for Pisces? Should they, should they follow the advice of these cards and level up in their spiritual journey? Say thank you to this soulmate who has reminded them of the path that they're on and the direction that they need to be going. Look, the fool, a brand new beginning and a brand new journey in your life. Turn in the page. Chapter 536. <laughs> what else? Anything else you want to say, Spirit? Any advice? Any closing comments? Spirit, do you have any closing comments for Pisces? Is there anything you'd like to say? Look, independent, self-sufficient person. Gratitude. This card's about gratitude. It's about a culmination to the entire situation. It's about having gratitude. It's about being self-sufficient and independent and single for that matter. Four of Wands. Wow. Bringing harmony into your life, into your relationships, transitioning. You are on the verge of a huge transition in your life. The Knight of Cups, the metaphorical knight in shining armor, an answer to prayers. This is saying that your life is about to turn in a direction that you just won't even believe. Oh, look, 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 the wheel. Ah, 
<laughs> nice. Twice the wheel of fortune, a turning point in your destiny, Pisces. Oh, Pisces, please, please listen to this. Please, please, please recognize that the soulmate relationship that you're in was here to remind you of why you're here. And it has exhausted it's, it has exhausted its um, purpose in your life at this point. The Hierophant, look, look at that. Wheel to the Hierophant, wheel to the Hierophant. There is something massively, massively significant coming into your life, Pisces. Massively significant. Holy schmoly. Wow. This is a really, really good reading. I hope... And I feel I, I got to I got to express to you because oftentimes I don't express the whole intuitive impact the psychic thing that that is behind these cards. But I got to tell you, man, I am just welled up with excitement, and I just feel the color gold. <laughs> if you can if you can put that into into perspective, I just feel the color gold for you. I feel the color gold, and it's it blows me away. It blows me away. Ah, stumbling blocks, Pisces. Stumbling blocks. This devil card right here. Don't succumb to self-disparaging thoughts, Pisces. Don't, dis don't succumb to self-disparaging thoughts and don't let this relationship in your life play on your heartstrings. Don't let it play on your heartstrings. Don't let this relationship restrict you from accomplishing what it is that you are set out to accomplish. Yeah, look, the Eight of Swords on top of that Devil card. Don't succumb. Don't succumb to it, Pisces. Don't succumb to it. Don't let this devil energy talk you into reinvesting in this relationship. Don't let that devil energy confuse you and muddy the waters and lead you astray, right? Because this soulmate here might not even recognize. They don't, they might not even recognize that you are in, um, that, that they're, that, that they have completed their purpose, right? This soulmate might not even understand that they have done what they're here to do. And when Pisces shows up, all, all, uh, up to card, all, um, all confident and, and in control and emotionally just, just in check, right? They, they might not understand it and, and they might try to talk you into it. Temperance have balance, moderation patience because there is a purpose for you on the horizon Pisces there's a purpose for you look death end it do not let this devil energy whether it's your own head with self-disparaging thoughts insecurities be a restriction to your achievement don't let that happen. And if this devil card happens to be this, this soulmate relationship that you have right here, don't let them talk you into, because look, when this devil energy shows up, you're all in a crossroads in your head, right? Don't let that happen. Don't reinvest in this relationship. Despite any kind of confusion, options, choices, Whatever this devil energy has to say to you, do not succumb. Oops, wrong way. There is purpose for your life. Turning points in your destiny. Inspired, creative new beginnings. Something hugely significant in your future that is going to put you in the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. This world card is turning for you. Completion. These cards are saying that this is completed. Do not go back to this. Death comes in. This is the universe. This is a major arcana. This is a life lesson. Death is saying, end it all and 
it's time to transition and transform into what you're supposed to be in this particular life cycle, at least to take the next step in the journey of the fool to be what you are here to be. Death twice in this reading. So we have the wheel twice and death twice. That's huge, huge. And the six of cups twice and the lovers and the two of cups. Do this Pisces and there will be victory and progress in your life. Possibly even some kind of public recognition. Do this Pisces, do it. Knight of swords, do it, do it, do it. Go Pisces, go, go Pisces, go. Do it. Don't stop. Okay? Don't stop. Keep going. Don't stop. Awesome. It's an awesome reading. Amazing reading, Pisces. Amazing. There you go. If you want to find out what this is for you and you want these cards tailored particularly, specifically for you, reach out to me, deepthoughtswithdana.com. There's a special link in the box below for you YouTube subscribers. 50 bucks will hook it up just for you, just for your situation. Namaste.